Uh, I'm going to take all the high network off. Yeah. Take telephone off. Take taxi sleep off. In the short term, I expected to move sideways. It's uh, we had a bit of a, uh, a rally yesterday. Uh, we saw a bit of short covering come in. Um, there's a bit of fear now that the DUP are not going to uh, back the deal. So in the moment, still uh, in a bit of limbo. We we found ourselves in the same situation with May's deal. A bit of deja vu now with uh, Boris Johnson's deal. It's very much the numbers are extremely tight um, and until that till we actually have the actual vote the market's going to hang on and, uh, and predict it, wait for its next move. We're expecting a huge amount of trade in Sunday night. A lot of our sort of our clients will be uh, glued to their, uh, their to their accounts, to their uh, their platforms come Sunday evening because uh, the markets will be open pre just before midnight Sunday night. It's going to be a busy night. It's going to be a very busy night. It's uh, especially if uh, you know we see it, you know this this deal defeated. The house position money, I think, is gone. He kind of wanted them done, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't specify. He just said. We can expect to look at sort of global headwinds now. Sort of domestic pressures are uh, uh, are kind of faulted by what's going on in, in the global economy. We've had seen a bit of a manufacturing, uh, quite a big manufacturing slowdown. That's that's going to hit. That's going to be a big problem when uh, you know we've got all this out of the way. Um, but general GDP numbers, employment numbers, all the tier one um, readings is what we look for to uh, to sort of gauge where the economy is going. But as we become more and more globalised, it's you know what's going on in China, what's going on in the US. Uh, you know how and how these are going to affect uh, sort of our markets back at home. Cheers. Number 35. Oh, you're bugger. Well, November, yeah. December one. Uh,